hi everyone i hope you're all doing great if you are new to my channel you're welcome my name is nancy please subscribe share and like my videos and in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to make a two-step wrap skirt so this is a requested tutorial and if you would like to request for a particular style tutorial kindly click the link in the description box to join the whatsapp group for this skirt, I used two yards since it's for a small size person. And three essential measurements are needed to make this skirt, which is the waist circumference, the hip circumference, and the full length of the skirt. So let's get started. The first step is to fold the fabric into two. Then you further fold it into two. So I practically folded it into four. This side of the fold will be for the zipper allowance, that was why I left about 2 inches after the main fold. And this other side is for the hip side of the skirt. Take note that the skirt has a 1 inch waistband. The first step is to row the starting line, which is also the waistline of the skirt. Plus half an inch sewing allowance to which the waistband will be attached on the waist circumference of the skirt now since the waistband for the skirt is one inch wide i'll place the tape on the second line to subtract one inch the next line is the hip line which is 8.5 inches and the full length of the skirt is 26 inches but since I'll be adding some gathers to the end of the skirt, I have to subtract the length of the gathers I'll be adding. So the length of the gathers I will be adding to this skirt is 10 inches, meaning I'll subtract 10 inches from 26 inches and that will be 16 inches. Plus 1 inch to which I'll be attaching the gathers at the bottom and that will be 17 inches altogether. The next step is to place the horizontal measurements. On the waistline, the waist circumference divided by 4 plus half an inch for the dart allowance and that will be 7.5 inches plus 2 inches sewing allowance at the side. Then on the hip line, I'll place the hip circumference divided by 4 plus 2 inches sewing allowance at the side. For the knee circumference, I'll subtract 6 inches from the hip circumference then divide by 4. Plus 2 inches sewing This is for the front piece. Why these two separate pieces is for the back piece. The next step is to create a butt piecing by giving a shape on the zipper allowance. So on the waistline, I'll mark one inch. On the hip line, I'll mark two inches. And on the knee line, I'll mark 1.5 inches because the knee is not a little bit down. The next step is to mark the dart for the skirt, which is the bust span divided by 2 plus half an inch. And the length of the dart is 5 inches. So I'll mark half inch at the top on both sides. Then I'll connect to this point as shown.
The next step is to cut the wrap on the front piece. So this is for the front piece. Why these two separate pieces for the back piece? Now I'll take the front piece to the sewing machine to secure the darts. And I'll also take the back piece to the sewing machine to secure the darts. After securing the darts for the front piece, I'll flip this to the right side of the fabric to mark how I want the shape of the wrap on the front piece to be. On the left side of the M, I'll mark 3 inches vertically. And I'll mark 2.5 inches horizontally. So the reason I mark this 2.5 inches horizontally is because when I attach the back piece to the front piece, it picks it in as the sewing allowance. Because the ruffles shouldn't get to the sewing allowance. So on the right side of the waistline, I'll mark 1 inch to connect the two points together. Obviously, the line has divided the skirt into two, so I'll be working with just the upper part of the skirt for now. To do this, I'll fold in the lower part of the skirt in such a way that I have just this upper part alone. Next step is to place the fabric on the table. Then you place the upper part of the skirt as shown on it to trace out the exact shape as shown. Alright guys, so I've achieved the wrap on the front piece. The next step is to fold the front piece into two to trim out the waistline by marking one inch from the center of the waistline. Then you connect the point to the edge of the waistline. Now for the waistband of the front piece, I folded the fabric into two, then I placed the waist line of the front piece on the fabric. So the next step is to trace out the shape of the waistline first. Since the width of the waistband is one inch, it means I'll be marking just two inches for this. So by the time I sew, it becomes one inch. Now I'll place this waistband on the fabric to cut out the facing of the waistband. So I use the gum stay to gum one side of the band. 
Now I'll place the right side of the band on each other. Then I'll take this to the sewing machine to sew the upper part of the band by half an inch. The next step is to attach one end of the waistband on the waist of the skirt by half an inch. The next step is to secure the edge of the waistband by folding it half an inch in. After securing the waistband for the front piece of the skirt, the next step is to attach a waistband to the wrap piece. Since the waistline for the wrap is straight, it means I'll be making use of a straight band. So the waist length of the wrap is 19 inches, but I need a longer band so it can be tied to the back of the skirt so yeah i'll be adding extra 20 inches to the 19 inches and that will be 39 inches all together the length of this band here is 39 inches long and 4 inches wide now i'll turn the wrap to the wrong side of the fabric then I'll place the band on it to secure the edge by half an inch. After securing the waistline, I turned the wrap to the right side of the fabric. Now I'll fold the band into two to secure the edge of the band on the waist of the wrap all through the length of the band. The next step is to attach the ruffles to the slant edge of the wrap. So remember that the length of the skirt is 26 inches, but we subtracted 10 inches for the ruffles on the bottom. So since we are using 10 inches for the ruffles on the bottom, I'll also use 10 inches for the slant ruffles. To get the width of the ruffle, I'll place the tape starting from this point. Since it's a horizontal side, is for this sewing allowance to attach the back piece yeah i have 22.5 inches you multiply by two and that will be 45 inches meaning that i need a fabric of 45 inches long and 10 inches wide but since i'll be attaching the ruffle to the top and also sewing the end of the ruffle it means the length of the ruffle will be 11.5 inches why the width will be 45 inches so i have the ruffle here the first step is to sew the two vertical edge of the ruffles so it comes out neat before attaching to the wrap the next step is to use this fabric to do some gathers or pleating on this edge then you take to the sewing machine to secure by half an inch So obviously the pleating didn't get to this edge of the curve because that is what I'll be using to attach the back piece. We are almost done. The next step is to place the wrap on the front piece of the skirt. Then you take to the sewing machine to sew the hip side of the skirt together. Now for the back piece of the skirt, the next step is to attach a waistband, which is very easy. Since the waistline for the back piece is straight, this band is also 4 inches wide and the length is the same as the waistline on the skirt. Now I turned the fabric 
to the wrong side then i placed the waistband on it as shown to secure the edge by half an inch the next step is to close the waistband by folding it equally then you secure the edge on the waistline The next step is to mark the waist circumference, the hip circumference, and the new circumference on the front piece of the skirt. So I turned the front piece to the right side of the fabric, then I opened up the wrap. Now I placed one side of the back piece on one side of the front piece. Then I pinned this together to secure the side. To get the length of the second rope, you place the tape to mark the first rope. Here I have 22 inches long, which means that the second rope will be 22 inches long and 4 inches wide. So here yeah, I folded this band into two, then I'll sew one side to I get to this end and I'll make sure that I'm not closing this side because that is where I'll be turning it to the right side of the fabric. So after I secure this curved side of the skirt, I'll place the wrap on the front piece then I'll also place the new rope on the waistline as shown before placing the other side of the back piece on it now I'll take to the sewing machine to secure the side by following the shape I marked initially All right, so this is how it should be after sewing. The next step is to measure the aim of the skirt. Here I have 38.5 inches and 38.5 times 2 is 77 inches so the actual length of the fabric i need is 10 inches but we'll be making it 11.5 so after sewing it becomes 10 inches why the width is 77 inches wide now i'll place this piece on the aim to do some gathers The next step is to secure the aim of both ruffles separately by folding it half an inch and further folding it in by half an inch. The next step is to fold the skirt into two to secure the zipper allowance. After securing the zipper allowance, the final step is to attach the zipper. Alright guys, thanks for watching to the very end. I hope this tutorial was helpful and if you are new to my channel, 
my name is nancy please subscribe share and like my videos and kindly put on your notification bell to be notified when i upload new videos so you don't miss my tutorials thank you